Hello and welcome to the first ever AG podcast with me. Hey, everybody. With me, Rain, the Theory, and. And with Stee, also known as F Free to Say No More. In this episode, we will be winding down the leagues as the, it's coming to the end of the season. We will be discussing what's going on in all leagues on the site. What's happened in the Champions League? A quick interview with both me and Steve, as we get to know us a little bit better, as we'll be hosting pretty much every week now on the podcast, if everything goes well, hopefully. (laughs) As Um, long as we have enough listeners. Yes, and hopefully (laughs) we can keep it entertaining. We'll be talking about GTA 5, and finally we'll be rounding it off with Real Life Football. Um, a quick word to Kratos and Demon with Alpha who are new to the site, so welcome to AG. Enjoy your stay. Sterling members, I'm sure. Well, considering we know them personally, <laughs> um, we know they'll be perfect on the site. Yeah, and to anyone else who's new as well, whose uh, names we don't happen to know off the top of our heads, welcome to AG. We're uh, very fun. Hope you enjoy your stay. Plenty of things to get you started tea stunk into so yeah let's get on with the show okay so on to the leagues i'll let you uh start off so we'll start with club league one and with dan winning the league by one point over big ash in the final games very tight finish um yeah well you know dan one of the strongest players on the side didn't lose a single game all season so uh Maybe no surprise there. He's fairly confident at the start of every league. So <laughs> yeah, he always tips himself as near the top or at the top. So yeah, um, I suppose if you're good enough to do it, then why not? So yeah, if if you can back it up, then there's yeah. nothing wrong with uh, pump, uh, nah, your own, blowing your own trumpet. There you go. That's the same. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, the real battle is for uh, relegation. Um, five players could go down. In yeah, the- no. Well, okay, so I played four games earlier. I played Aaron twice, and I played Bring It, who replaced Ginge towards the end of the season. So um, that actually hasn't changed things that much. Um, Some of the scores haven't been updated, so Aaron, I think, is still in fifth place, though he's got two games in hand over Wayne and possibly Worm. They played earlier, so that hasn't updated. So Aaron can finish as high as third. And uh, me and Bring It had a win each, so that keeps the same points difference. So it's all down to the last two games. I think uh, both, actually, oh, just me. I can escape from um, the relegation playoff if I am to beat Dazzler twice and Bring It doesn't win either of his games. But uh, it's all ifs and buts at the moment. So Yeah, Bring It and got the easiest of opponents as well, considering he faces Aaron in his last games. Ah, okay. Yeah, that should yeah. make things interesting, yeah. so. It'd be a definitely a tough test for bring it, but if you want to sustain Club League One, then it's gonna to have to do it the hard way. Yeah. So yeah, that's probably Club League One. Let's have a look at Club League Two. Got it open here. And uh Master KK sitting at the top. Yeah, two points ahead of Reese, but Reese does have two games in hand over Master KK, so Yeah. And plus two points you know, that could easily be uh, overturned in two games. Yeah, and just looking at this, Wiz has a very good record, only lost a single game, and he obviously has like the most tight-fisted defense in the world. He's only conceded, <laughs> he's only conceded 12 goals, and he's scored nearly 40, so uh, we've got a good player on our hands here. Well, you know what Stoke are like anyways as a team? I mean, Dan took him last season unbeaten. Yeah, exactly. In the, white, in the white hands, a very dominant force in the leagues. Yeah. And so the Ash Cohen, he's finished all his games. So uh, Macadam could uh, jump over him into third, but so they seem pretty nailed on for the uh, the two playoff places, unless uh, Rochi can do anything about that. Even Storm technically yeah. could get yeah. into the top, depending well, on how things pan out. Ash Cohen is definitely nailed his playoff spot. It'd be down to Macadam, Roach, and Storm to fight for the second one. But Roach and Storm could also end up falling in the relegation playoffs if all things doesn't go too well for them. And uh, if Wins can get results against second, well, second base Wins, could change a, a big difference in the mid-table region of uh, Club League 2. Yeah, and actually, and even in the, the very bottom relegation, so Dazza is definitely down to yep. Club League 3. Um, but AG Louis Spurt 
with uh, four games in hand over pretty much everyone else. Well, he's got two games in hand against Wince, so uh, he could find himself out, and that could put uh, Faraz down into the relegation. He's uh, he's finished all his games, so again, they'll be facing other. Um, you have to beat the best to stay up. As Spur has to face both KK and Reese, and he's remaining four games. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that should so be fun. He's going to have a very tough task to escape yeah. from the relegation zone. Well, not even that, but I guess he's got a, a pretty big say in who ends up winning the league uh, yeah, if he manages to true. take points off anybody. Oh, there's a lot going on in this league. Yep. Hopefully uh, Spur can get Ricky Lambert heading in no goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky Lambert's a tank in real life and possibly the game. If you haven't stuck him on your yeah, if you haven't oh, if you haven't stuck him on your uh, fancy Premier League team, then I say do that because he's guaranteed goals and he costs like seven and a half. Okay, anyway, onto Club League Three. What do we have here? Sparky, Sparky's a nine point lead <laughs> over Danny and Cows. Okay, and oh, actually, quite a lot of people in this league, so there are still a lot of points to be played for. Cows uh, does have two games in hand over Danny and Sparky, though, so yeah, he could, he could reduce that to three points. If he uh, wins his next two games, I'm sorry, but that's fairly ridiculous. Sixty goals scored and four conceded. <laughs> oh no, that's a bit. <laughs> you know, it shows you what a dominant force that Sparky is. I mean, yeah, he, he had an unfortunate event which cost him a, a, a year in the leagues, but uh, he's definitely shown that he de- he deserves a place in the leagues after that fantastic performance in Cup League Three. I'm presuming he's got Palermo there. Do they still have those two strikers? Yep, still have Fernandez and Mikkeli. Yeah, they're the ones. Okay. That'll go some way to explain it, actually, yeah. In the but, playoffs, we have Big B and Arshua sitting quite close, actually, to Danny and Cowles. Um But apart from that, Tosa, seven points behind Arsh. And he's only three points ahead of Destroy and Bodge. And BC's only four points behind Tosa, so... Yeah. It's going to be a tough a fight for a, that last playoffs place, that's for sure. Technically, anyone from 11th upwards can make it into the playoffs. Well, four points is quite low, but depending on other results, if you were to just win all your remaining games, what, you'd be on uh, you know, a good 30-odd points. Yeah. So There's still 8 to 10 games left, so there's a lot of, that could happen in that league, potentially. Yeah. be interesting uh, to see. That'd be the league to keep you eye on, though. So yeah, exactly. A few games left to go. Okay, so that's uh, that's the roundup for Club League One, Evan. The the biggest leagues on the site. So, but uh, International League Two we have now after having just International League One for quite a while. So I guess we'll start with that one and then work our way up to uh, uh, International League One. Okay. So uh, who do we it's have? League Two, the first yeah. league to have finished this season as well. So congrats, to everyone in International League. Finishing two. their games. Big round of applause to you guys. And Burmy takes the league title in League Two. Congrats Congratulations, Burm! Claps all around. Um, finished six points above Aaron, who came in for Mario. Um, could have been a different story if Aaron started the season with Holland instead of taking over for Mario, but, you know, yeah. that's just the season. Never know what could happen. Um, we have in the playoffs we see KK face Ash Cohen and Wince face Big B. So good luck to them in the playoffs, and hopefully we'll see one of you in club you know, international league one next season. Yeah, it is a good league. I think I've done it pretty much since I've been on the site, and I, I've never had a good team. Well, I had Uruguay one season, but uh, apart from that, it's been your Russia's, Scotland's, uh, Cameroon, and USA. So uh, fun times to be had with yeah. some of the the minnows of the world. Uh, I'd like to give a little shout out to Daz and Gaspars for picking up the winner's <laughs> boo in, in the league. But, yeah. <laughs> it's always next season, guys, so you never know. Okay, so, and then on to the guys of International League One. And uh, congratulations. Gosh, truly, truly has won the yeah, To Mr. Co host here, who's so far gone undefeated. And so I think with two more games against Storm. Yep. And, uh, Thank you. you know. Thank you. Do the Invincibles, unlike his real-life team, who are a bit shy. Yeah, we'll, 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 skip, we'll skip past that bit for now. Well, actually, no, we'll come back to, we'll come back to Arsenal later, and uh, you can have Maybe. a cry. Depends if, on how I feel. Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, I uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I had a, I had a good season, and yeah. uh, 
Well, you you and your Germans, they're strong outfits, so probably, yeah. you know, up there with... Actually, I don't think any other team in this in the International League one comes close to Germany, bar maybe France and England, so... But uh, you still got to win all the games in front of you, and obviously you've got some really good players who are doing well in other leagues as well. So uh, no easy feat. It's interesting to see Storm um, be mid-table in Cup League Two, but third place in Cup in International League One. Yeah, he's pretty solid with England. I think this is his uh, second season in a row with them, so he's obviously uh, got some kind of formula that works well for him. So I always have a tough time against them, well, but. Um, for yourself, the rest, yourself now taking third place after beating yeah, Lost. You know. So I did. Who'd have thought? What a what a tight. That just shows you how much of a tight group it is. You know. So yeah, I played Lost earlier and I got two wins, and uh, I jumped from fifth place relegation playoff up to third place, and uh, so now I'm equal with games. So um, Danny uh, can do the same thing if he wins his next two games. So it'd be me and him on third with uh, 19 points. So just goal difference separating us. So, um, yeah, this one really is going to come down to the last two league games for everybody to see who gets relegated. Lost can still get out of the uh, automatic relegation as well. So, loads to play for. Plus, you do have Dan in your next game as well, which could lead you to get in second if oh, things right. go to plan. Oh, my God. Second with Cameroon, who would have thought? Yeah, it's basically the Eto show. So, uh, apologies to whoever I play, but that's where the ball's going. It's It's not really a tactic as such. But it can't be stopped, so, you know, I'm pretty confident. It can't confident. be stopped. Shut <laughs> <laughs> sure. I, I, sp- I scored first. It's not yeah. fair. Yeah, but With who got the points in the end? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Thank Look you. at this guy. <laughs> you, just wait, you just wait until the first time that I ever actually have a decent team in the leagues. I will. But then again, I tend to lose all my Scudo through fines. So, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I think famous, I rack. Famous for his timekeeping, Steve. <laughs> yeah. I think I racked up four this week. I was doing really well doing really well and then I just had you know like a bad weekend I went to Kilkenny for a friend's birthday and I was not feeling great so not many games got played so oh. whatever the leagues are winding down and you know Xbox One or FIFA 14 is going to be a whole new game so let's forget all my past transgressions and we'll move on and uh, we'll let me into all the leagues that I want to join we're going Especially to show f- oh, sorry go on, go on stay uh, especially because uh, I'm doing the podcast now, so I have uh, quite a good place on the site. So, you know, <laughs> that'd be nice that's to get that. That's that's nice, point. Marcus. Okay, continue. Um, we're going to finish off on the Pro Clubs League and the final fixtures I cu- came out this week. See, Falls are face off against the Thunder Docks, which could potentially be the total decider, depending on how results go. Yeah, I didn't realise it was so close. Um I actually, I think I thought that all the the games were over and that Forza had stolen it from under your noses. But the fact that one of three teams can still win is going to make it fun. Uh, Thunder Ducks play our last games tomorrow night, I believe, at around nine o'clock or half nine against Forza, so that will help decide things. Yep, yeah, and plus UFA play Milan on Wednesday, so we'll see your results and see what we have to do to either win the title or at least get second. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm hoping for two wins, and then maybe, just maybe, Milan can uh, cause an upset. Take it's a good group of players at Milan, so they easily could beat anyone in the league. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed my time with Thunder Ducks. Been good. Two, uh, two very good strikers up front, um, and with me in behind doing my doing my thing hey. with hey, my <laughs> with my four man of the matches in about four. Uh, Four appearances, not to be smirked at. Hey, it's, it's up to the other teams to give the man the match out, so <laughs> you've done something right to impress them. Thank you very much, guys. It's appreciated. I know I've wowed you all in my <laughs> appearances. So is this, is this you joining Arkea then, officially, next season? Um, oh, yeah, I think. I've, these are some guys from college I've played with for the last few years, and uh, Wayne has joined us in the last while. Just uh, on the friendly side of things, but um, yeah, we mentioned them earlier. Kratos and Demon Revolver have signed up to the site, so it looks like we'll be uh, taking IKEA into any new clubs league that happen next in the next FIFA. Should be fun. We're missing out one player who's yet to sign up, and we might be on the hunt for another AG member, depending on how uh, things yeah. go. So there could be some transfer activity. Who knows? 
we'll see how that goes. But that um, is so on to the yeah, and uh, on to the mon- monthly tournament, which yep. is the yep. Champions League. And uh, I'm going to let you take the lead here because I didn't sign up for this one. <laughs> but uh, I have a vague idea of what's going on. I'll open this thing here. And here we go. Now I can pretend like I know. Group 1, we have Worm, who's definitely through no matter what. You finish, you're going to finish first, I think. Um, with Aaron and Rost both battling for that second position to get into the Champions League knockoff places. <laughs> um Bring it, he's on zero points after two games, but he could still take second if he wins all four games remaining against Lost and Aaron. So it'd be interesting to see how that turns out in the end. Uh, group two, I'm definitely through, thank you very much, with Roma as well. Uh, Roma, not the best of teams, but good old Totti up front and Osvaldo doing are you gonna Are you going to lose Osvaldo in an update? Or is that that can't happen now, can it? I hope not. Because he moved to Sunderland. So he did. So I think it was Sunderland, or was it Southampton? Southampton. Southampton. Oh, okay, yeah, they spent a bit. But, uh, okay, yeah, I'm well. hoping I can keep us for at least for the link for the tournament. Yeah, I need him. Yeah, that'd be handy. But, uh, and so you've got is that Dazza Razer behind you? Yep, Dazza Razer currently on second with nine points, and Cal sits on third with five points. Cal still got to play Spur, <laughs> who's bottom. Spur can't make it into the top two. But he could stop Cows making it from the top two. So it'd be interesting to see how that last game in our group turns out. Mm, okay. Group three sees Danny CTID sitting on top with 10 points and Big Ash just behind him on seven. Both still got play for Raz, who sits on bottom with no points. But he's still got. Uh, I meant. Uh, if he wins both of his games against both Danny and Ash, mm, he okay. can make it equal finish first. As. Matt has played all of these games, one, two, and lost four. But it's easy to sit in third currently at the moment, not be able to make the top two. So Ferraz could still make uh, the Champions League knockout if he uh, yeah. dominates both Danny and Ash. And in the last group, bit of a uh, bit of a catch up group. This group, cause it's only been f- uh, four games played. Still as Barkley. My lads. Shape yeah. up. <laughs> both Storm and Sparky have uh, played Dazza with Dazzara. Uh, both Storm and Sparky have won, so they're both joined top on six points. Dazzara is sitting bottom with zero points and four games played, which leaves him mathematically, I think, out of top two contention. Uh, em- Emre still has yet to play any games, so, you know, come on, Emre, get, get your games done, mate. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> But he's still got all six games left to play, so he could take top spot, depending on how results go. Okay, so uh, for me, he's a bit of an unknown, so maybe, does he have a good team? Who's he playing with? Uh, I, he's playing with Barcelona, so... Oh, okay. He has got the best team in the game, so it'd be interesting okay, to well see that, how he goes. Well, that's a good start. And uh, just for anyone who's new to the site, uh, I just feel that the monthly tournament's a really good way to get involved. And uh, I guess it's a good way to show as well that you can get your games done and that you're good with the ranging. But um, they usually make them interesting. So like Champions League, you know, you can't ask for much better than that. So it's a good setup. But um, just keep an eye out for them. They usually do them a, a week, a week and a half before the next one starts. So you can start signing up. So just keep an eye. If you're looking to get into the career leagues, then uh, the monthly tournament's the best way to start. Yeah, so, so perfect, yeah. perfect place to start. You'll keep you occupied while you're waiting for leagues to start, definitely. Yeah, and uh, I think as far as the FIFA side of things, that's uh, most of the stuff covered for the moment. Yep. Um, now we're going to go to a little interview between me and Steve, just to let everyone know a little bit more about ourselves and the kind of person we are away from playing Xbox. Yeah, and for anyone who's listening, the hope is that um, other people will want to sign up uh, to be an interviewed. So if you want to let us know any way you can, you can just mention it on the site or send us a message on Xbox Live and let us know when you're free. And uh, yeah, and let us get to know everyone eventually. Yep, there is a thread on the site. If you just want to put your interest in there, uh, that'd be perfect, and we'll get in contact with you. Okay, um, so uh, do you wanna do you wanna interview me first and do it that way? You can do, yeah. So, name, full name. Hi, uh, my name full name is uh, Stephen Bergen, Eight. but uh, we can go with D. Yep. Uh, I'm 25 years old. Your job outside of 
playing Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my what I want for a career is to be a screenwriter. So yeah, so I want to work in films with films. Um, that is what I'm trying at the moment. But uh, to subsidize that, I have a crappy part-time job in a shop. So isn't that exciting? <laughs> what sh- what shop is that? Um, I don't think they don't have them in the UK. It's called the Art and Hobby Shop. So we kind of we're a mixture of like we sell art supplies and then we also do things like remote control helicopters and jigsaws and other kind of toy stuff. But um, I've had the job since 2007. Did leave for a while uh, to do college and stuff, but uh, I'm a, a two-time college dropout, so uh, clearly, clearly not my thing. But um, the riding's fun; it's going well. So, uh, and there's a, a few things on the move. So uh, hopefully something comes of that. And if you're ever watching the Oscars, I'll give a shout out to Ag in like ten years. <laughs> so I've got it all planned out. Do you have any hobbies other than Xbox? Um. Oh yeah, loads. Okay, what do I do? I like to, I swim, I cycle, I try to keep fit to a certain degree. Um, I play guitar. I've played guitar uh, for about 10 to 12 years. Never any lessons or anything, but I, I played with a band for a while. I got a lot of friends who are very much into their music and are currently in a lot of bands. So then also, yeah, music is just a big deal in general. Uh, I think I, I've been to London about seven or eight times for gigs, seeing as no one likes to come over to Dublin. So we have to go find them. And, uh, yeah, obviously films are a big thing. I go to cinema quite a lot. And, uh, yeah, anything movie-related interests me. So I'm fairly nerdy in that. Final question for me. Being as accomplishment on AG is? Um, uh, probably success of promotions. Like, uh, I'm in Club League 1 now. But uh, when I first got into Club League, I started in Division 3. And... Uh, Two seasons in a row came first, so that was pretty nice. Um, yeah, that was uh, good feelings. Your turn. Okay, so uh, uh, who do we have here? What is your real life name? My real life name is Wayne Graham. So this is Wayne. Everyone say hi, Wayne. And uh, what age are you? I am currently twenty. Twenty twenty. So oh, when's the when's the big twenty one? November 24th, I'm planning to have a massive party and probably get shit-faced. Hey! And uh, I believe you may have a job? You may have a new job? I have a work trial starting tomorrow. Uh, oh, at, tomorrow? At, uh, yep, at Primark. I'll be working there for four weeks and hopefully that will become my full-time job. So fingers ah. crossed for me. So no more daytime gaming? Well... Currently, my hours will be two to six. So ah, okay, that's not so bad. Maybe in the morning if I'm feeling up. <laughs> okay, and uh, so what do you do for fun outside of AG and gaming in general? I like to socialize. I like to go to gigs. I am a very frequent gig goer. Um, it's anyone who has me on Facebook knows to always put pictures of gigs up and say, "Oh, I'm off to so and so next week or whenever." So. Um, that is my main real hobby, go gigs. Also, it's, you know, I try to keep fit. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a constant struggle, isn't it? It's yeah. Okay. I mean, I've, I've got a race for Christmas. I've been doing that regularly, uh, walk and run and stuff. Um, I, can't, I, I can't swim because I have a fear of deep water, so that will stand. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the best. My, my girlfriend is a, used to be a lifeguard. And used to train other people, so uh, I tend to go swimming with her, and um, not feel too ashamed when she does fifty lengths and I do about ten. That's that's a perfect solution. <laughs> and um, so, your biggest accomplishment on AG? What are you proud of? Uh, probably winning everything, bar Club League one, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, Club, and Club League three. But winning trophies <laughs> is always it's always good. Winning trophies. So. Yeah. Well, unless you want to get relegated twice and then win Club League 3, I guess you'll have to uh, write that one off as a potential winning thing. Never know. Maybe FIFA 14, <laughs> when that comes around to an Xbox One, I might have to start in Club League 3. Yeah, or, you know, maybe if you miss the bidding like I tend to do, then you'll end up with some shocking team. And, uh, you know, you just won't be able to do anything. I'll be there next time, <laughs> though, I swear. <laughs> you said, I will you said that last time, see? Yeah, I know. I just things happen. Life. <laughs> so, 
speak on life, let's turn the, uh, in, the, the podcast to real life things now. And firstly, one of the, well, the first topic out of two would be GTA 5, which I know a lot of people are looking forward to. Me this myself. game is going to be epic. I, I literally throw money at the TV every time I see it. <laughs> it's, it's take my money now. Yeah, I pre-ordered mine um, just last week. Made sure to put in the express delivery because uh, I'm hoping I get it a few days early so everyone be jealous when you see me playing it and I, uh, learn the game inside out. I've yet to pre-order mine, but I will be soon. Of Amazon, 35 quid. Oh, very nice. But yeah, I'm just I'm thinking that this could be a big game for the site. You know, there's a lot of us. I can imagine that most people are going to get GTA, and just it's the type of game where you can just have a lot of fun. Like nothing needs to ever be serious. We can just drive around and absolutely slaughter each other for a few hours. So there is 18 plays, I think, up to 18 plays on Ryan on GTA oh, okay. Five. So there'd be plenty of us be able to play in one lobby at one time. And the amount of things you could probably do online would be unlimited missions, races, yeah. team deathmatch games, mobbing and banks, just... stealing cars, the disco. Yeah. It's that type of game where you can just make up games between you, you know, like, oh, everyone has to rob a certain type of car and drive it to this destination and all that kind of stuff. So you can just have the most fun with it. And what the size of the game is going to be, like something like three times the size of GTA 4. So uh, we're just going to have such a big area to play with. The possibilities will be endless. I can see this being fun for another a good two years at least, if not more. Yeah. And uh, I, think, what's the, I think the release date is September 17th. So uh, anyone's planning on getting it, then it's only about uh, three weeks away that we have to wait. So And uh, online comments out on the 1st of October. So. Oh, well, we have to wait. Yeah, that's the big date for first of October. It's when okay. online will be able to be played. Okay, so nobody has any excuses. You get your plenty of time. Game, plenty of time. Yeah, get to learn it, and then uh, we'll all have a bit of a laugh on that. The uh, last topic for the podcast is real life football. Real life football. Okay, so something tonight. Like, uh, something like Actually, I'm reading. Yeah. Well, actually, I say tonight, but by the time everyone's listening to this, the United Chelsea match is going to be over. So uh, we will know who's won and who's not. But considering this has been recorded at five minutes past six, <laughs> predictions? Um, I find it really tough to think, you know, I don't know how United really play under Moyes. I didn't get to see much of the Swansea game. Like, it was a good win, but um, I think the pressure's on him to show that he can take United and compete against the big teams. You know, he had that awful record for Everton against the big teams. So, uh, but, you know, he's got a he's got a world-class team with him now. So, Premier League winner. So, we'll see how he does. And uh, Mourinho is just Mourinho. So, I expect if you, Chelsea score a goal or two, he'll just completely kill the game and make it dull as shit for everyone to watch. <laughs> I, can, I don't know. It's, this is Moyes' first big test. I mean, he had the community show, but that was against Wigan. Yeah. And he hasn't had many big teams as such to face so far since taking over as man new manager. But this will be his yeah. first big test. And if he can get a draw, at least a draw, yeah, it would be good progress. Yeah. Well, with Van Persie up front, United are always going to have a chance if oh, yeah. once you give him a sniff of goal, that's all he needs. And, like, I don't know. I'd fancy Lukaku playing up front to bully the United defence, but he's probably going to start with Demba Ba. So. Lukaku would need a good bit of time to come on to make an impact, like early second half, if he does yeah. come on. He did do quite well, though, as a substitute for West Brom, and he scored a few goals coming off the bench, so that could be an option as well. But Tanks when you've got, well. yeah, when you've got well. Hazard, Oscar, and uh, who else plays behind? De Bruyne, maybe? Yeah, maybe De Bruyne. Yeah. Matter, yeah. Well, Matt, well, Matt is a strange one. I, I wonder if he will actually still be at Chelsea come the end of the week. It would seem bizarre to let him go, but all these rumours seem must be coming from somewhere. So he's such a good player as well, Matar. That he'd be, yeah. he'd, Muno, as, smart, as smart as he is, he'd be a fool to let him go. Yeah, and then outside those two, we have uh, Man City losing their first game of the season. Hope you're no. not too. <laughs> hope you're not too sad, Danny. I, I can hear you crying from over here against Cardiff of all people. What? Man City spent something like £80 million pounds this transfer window. Yep. Makes me know if I have a 
me and him having a film on the first day, and it's like, Arsenal are shit, Arsenal have got nothing. <laughs> if Ashton and Phillip were in the Premiership last season, Cardiff were a newly promoted team. Yeah. So, you know. It does happen, though. These The likes of Cardiff and all are always going to put in an extra shift against some of these big teams because they know what it means to take some points over. But we'll see how they do against the likes of uh, West Ham and Stoke and stuff. That'll be the real challenge. And uh, then we have your lovely Arsenal. How do you feel about that? Well, we lost on the first day of the season, which Ashton Filler deserved the Indians. I mean, there was, you can argue there was a few dodgy referee calls, but in the end, Filler did deserve the win. Yeah. Uh, midweek against Fenerbahce, we won 3 0. You know, comfortable victory. Darn comfortable victory against Fulham. Um, go Fenerbahce again midweek. Hopefully, think of rest big players for the game next week, the important game next week against Spurs. Yeah, uh, uh, Fenerbahce were toothless in the first half, so... I really hope we win. <laughs> <laughs> Against Spurs? Yeah, the fact that some Spurs fans are really treating and hashtagging mind the gap after the second game <laughs> shows yeah. you how deluded some Tottenham fans can be. And cough, yeah. step, cough. For all the fact that they've got two wins out of two, they've got two 1-0 victories, both in penalties, no less, so... Uh, they're obviously still taking a while to get the new players like Soldado and Chadley and whoever else properly yeah. integrated into the team. So um yeah, so they and if if Bale does go, oh yeah, Bale's an interesting one. So he goes to Madrid for talks and then he comes back, but now there's talk of a second bid from an anonymous team. So I think it could be anyone from Man United to PSG, possibly even Monaco. But uh, if it is a French team, he'd be an absolute idiot to go there. So you know, he should he should stick to his guns. Goes for Madrid. Yeah, um, I'd be. Tottenham, I wouldn't be. Well, not to say Tottenham wouldn't send him to an English team. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, because if it is Manchester United, I I could not see Spurs selling to United at all, and especially for less than what Real Madrid were willing to offer. So, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. That's for sure. <laughs> but. And he, uh, should, he should stick to going to Madrid and then Ronaldo yeah. come to United and then Mourinho gets off to wherever he decides to go to. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, so we've we talked a lot about the Premier League, but if anyone ever wants to uh talk about any of the lower leagues, then feel free to let us know. I know it like a tiny bit about the championship, but anything lower than that, I'm pretty lost. So we know that some of you support lower league teams. I know the Lost Island sports Colchester. Yeah, Dan, and, uh, Dan Dan Sports. 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 yeah, so if you guys ever want to, yeah, if you ever want to even maybe type something up that uh, we can just read off just to keep you guys entertained or filled in on the lower leagues, then let us know. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, because uh, it's just, it's just as much as our podcast as it is yours. We're, hope, we're always looking to take on ideas for topics or things you want to hear on the podcast. So, and if you want to present your own little feature for one week like on lower league football or Weezy can do on the golf because that finishes this week or yeah. James could do something about grid which we can start next week just drop a message in the thread or give us a PM yeah because you no, know, we, we'll discuss it yeah like all the other games on the site so we've got people playing Tiger Woods and Grid 2 and I know some of the guys were playing Battlefield recently and you know Battlefield 4 is going to be coming out soon as well so uh, that could be another one that makes it onto the site so just any games that people are interested in uh, just let us know and we'll try to cover as much as we can each week yep and with that we'll leave it there Uh, I hope you've enjoyed listening to the first day for AG podcast yeah I, I think we may have gone a bit over whatever a lot of time, but uh, that's okay. I'm so sure I'm people sure people will find it a hype, anyways. And enjoy listening to prolonged versions of our sexy voices. Yeah, you can't beat and- an Irishman and a cookie man, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, people just turn it on and just think, yeah, I can't understand a word that's going on there. <laughs> so, get to the podcast after one week. <laughs> To speak out of it, he's quite new one saying yeah, otherwise people would be like, what is he on about? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I guess that's it for this week. So yeah. uh, thanks for Thank anyone you, yeah. who's listened. Thank and, you for uh, listening, yeah. and we'll catch you next week. Take care, look after yourself. Adios. See you guys. Bye now.